Thank you. Senator Young. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, Congressman Duffy, great to be with you. I look forward to uh, serving with you in, in this new capacity. Um, we had a great meeting in my office and, and uh, just want to ask you a few questions building on, on uh, that conversation. Um, represent the state of Indiana and, and therefore on account of our, our vibrant uh, agricultural sector, our manufacturing uh, sector, logistics uh, economy, transportation and infrastructure is, it's, uh, dare I say, it's a, an important part not just of our economy but also of our culture. Uh, in fact, uh, we, we identify ourselves as a state as the crossroads of America from time to time. So if confirmed, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, certainly looking forward to working directly with you on a number of ongoing priorities. I want to begin by flagging with you um, the largest, uh, at least uh, for so, so many of my constituents, uh, project priority, and that is the I-69 Ohio River Crossing Project. Uh, this is a crucial final connection between Evansville, Indiana, and Henderson, Kentucky. It's going to provide uh, massive safety and economic benefits, uh, not just to Indiana, but more broadly to the economy. Will you commit to work with me uh, to secure federal funding for this project and others like it? Yeah, and I appreciate uh, the time we spent together in the House and the yes. meeting we had together uh, in your office. Yes, I would. Uh, welcome the opportunity to, 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 to work with you uh, on the project, learn more, possibly uh, come to Indiana and see it with you per our conversation in your office. Fantastic. We will uh, we'll look forward uh, right upon your confirmation uh, to following up with your team uh, about uh, you. aligning schedules for that visit. Um, turning to autonomous vehicles, uh, I've, I've long been a proponent of continuing to uh, and encourage our innovators uh, to uh, go out there and, and keep innovating, but also uh, to ensure them that we're going to adopt a regulatory atmosphere that is friendly to autonomous vehicles. We see many other uh, countries aiming to lead in this space. China, yes. uh, perhaps most notably, uh, is catching up. Um, and we'll soon be surpassed if, if we don't adopt pro-AV policies. I see here a real opportunity for improvement by the Trump administration over uh, the outgoing administration. So what are your thoughts generally on AVs, and what opportunities do you see, Congressman Duffy, at uh, DOT for AV policy? I appreciate the question, and I think you make an incredibly important point, which is uh, this is not just a wonderful technology that uh, has a potential of making our roads safer, but this is a national security issue. Uh, we can't fall behind uh, China or other countries as it, go as it comes to uh, AV technology. Uh, right now we have a, a patchwork of laws from state to state. I believe there has to be a, a, a federal law uh, by which all of these innovators can abide by, no matter if they're in Texas or in California or somewhere else. Um, and again, I'll always make sure that safety is, is key. But after safety, uh, we want to give a wide runway uh, for uh, these companies and innovators to create products that are going to bring us this new technology that, again, can revolutionize the way we get items, how we travel, whether you're taking an Uber or uh, it's, it can be remarkable and, and, and exciting. Can I just say here, I'm really uh, impressed and encouraged that you identified this as a national security priority because uh, with this technology, as with so many other emerging technologies, they are dual use in nature. So uh, if we can incentivize the innovators to keep innovating, the capital markets to keep deploying capital, workers to continue to be trained in this area, uh, then uh, there are spillover effects to the Pentagon, uh, to our intelligence agencies and, and others. Uh, this is an argument uh, that uh, needs to continue to be made so that everyone understands that all of, our, all of our departments here in Washington, from DOT to DOC and, and uh, SBA and beyond, uh, they're all national security entities. We need to fund them and we need to be attentive to their uh, programming just as much as we are to uh, DOD. Uh, Congressman D Duffy, the last surface reauthorization bill included a pilot version of my bipartisan Drive Safe Act. Um, the pilot was quite simple. We wanted to establish an apprenticeship program to allow 
the legal oper operation of commercial motor vehicles in interstate commerce by CDL holders under the age of 21. Let me just explain how this works. If, if, if you live in uh, Gary, Indiana, up near Chicago, you can drive all the way down to Lawrenceburg, Indiana, right near Cincinnati, uh, Ohio, uh, driving a big rig, age 19, drive a CDL. But you can't go from Gary, Indiana over to the Illinois line. You can't go from Lawrenceburg, Indiana into Ohio doing the same thing, even if those states authorize it. So, so why is that? Why is that? Well, let's just say charitably there are vested interests uh, that really don't want us to solve uh, the, the driver shortage problem. So we passed a pilot program out of Congress. It took us years to get this damn thing done. And uh, we sent it off to the Biden administration that signed it in, into law, and they have reconstrued the language in a what strikes uh, the average person. I was actually trained in the law, incidentally, but um, as a bizarre construction of the nation's law. So I guess what I would ask you is, would you commit to reviewing how the Biden administration screwed up the implement, implementation and potentially try to fix this broadly bipartisan effort? And if it's if it can't be fixed administratively, and I strongly believe it can, then might you work with me uh, to uh, improve the language next go around. Senator, I don't know if this was your bill when we served in the House together, but I was a co-sponsor <laughs> of this uh, in the House, and I saw the same concerns. Yes, sir. Um, uh, again, we want to make sure that these young people are safe when they drive, and maybe there's some additional standards they have to have, and I haven't looked at the bill that you passed, but I commit to you that I, I will look at where the department is or how they've mangled the intent of the Congress yes, uh, to make sure that what Congress passed. Um, is fairly and rightfully implemented. And if there's a problem with it, I'll work with you and, and, and uh, clearly tell you what that problem is. That's all I need. Congrats again, Congressman and uh, Mr. Chairman. I yield back, trying to get his attention. Thank you, Senator. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, Senator.